everyone, I'm back again. I'd like to expand on my previous video over a pi approximation using just random numbers. I wanted to see what's going on with each iteration of the for loop, and I wanted to, wanted to see the approximation as it developed over time, so I figured I'd make another video, expand upon that, and so let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to set up a second table, a second matrix. I'm going to call it pi estimate. And I'm going to fill it with the zeros for now just to create it. And I'm going to make it the same size, same length as the GCD table just above it. And this is saying the GCD and the pi estimate table dimensions. So just like before, okay, that's all right. That's just the first iteration, so I'm not using it yet. So just like before, we're going to need a for loop, but a lot of this down here that we made previously outside the for loop we're going to have to put inside the for loop to calculate pi for each time the for loop goes around so i'm going to start putting this in finding prime ratio, co-prime count equals, let's do sum of GCD 1 through N on the second column, and the probability equals I could have just copied this from below too, but that's okay. Divided by n, it doesn't like it because this is just being used again below. And the estimate of pi, we're going to create a pi estimate table. We're going to fill in the table that we created previously. For each iteration of pi, that counts as a row in the first column. And that is equal to the square root of 6 divided by the probability. And that's n equals n plus 1, just to increase the value of n incrementally. And the next thing, we already have this. We could have just copied it and made some modifications, but I just re-entered it. We're going to delete it and delete it. All right. Now we can make a plot chart. So plot chart and I'm going to make the horizontal axis X equals one through rows so that just represents each iteration of the for loop we're going to plot x and pi estimate for a title i will call it recursive pi up approximation the X label is the incremented result the Y label is oops pi approximation whoops all right and so for printing the results, it shouldn't 
be all that much different. I'm going to add rows here to print specific results. And I believe the other one is correct. So I'm going to save this as random recursive. I already did this once to make sure it works. And let's try it out. And we have an unrecognized function variable. And that is in line 20. That would be why the S can make the difference. And it seems that I made an error in line 42 where I didn't capitalize. And we need to clean this up a little bit. The one thing I didn't do yet is for the pi estimate. That's why it was repeating so much down below. For the pi estimate, the error should be specified for rows. Now it should work out much better. Let me clear the command prompt. Yep, you see it's much better. The calculated value of pi is 3.1 and some change. That's a 1% difference from the actual value of pi. Again, we can increase the value here. We can run it again. And it will take a while to compute this. But when it does, it will be much closer to the actual value of pi. We're only a tenth of a percent off from the actual value of pi. And I can show you here what the plot looks like as well. Here's an example of pi that I was able to get through the plot. You can see it starts off kind of low, down in the low threes, and even in the 2.9 area, 2.9 and then it shoots off to about 3.8 and then it levels off and approaches 3.14 as it goes off to the 10,000th and 100,000th spot. This is one of the closest approximations I could get. I got 3.1418 only got seven thousandths of a percent difference from the actual value of pi, so that's that's a pretty good pretty good guesstimate from a program just using random numbers.